Hi everyone, Carmen here. I want to share a quick video uh, about what I'm doing right now, which is knitting pumpkins. And yes, this will be a pumpkin. And I have a bunch here. So I'm making a Halloween wreath. And fun, fun fact, I only learned like two years ago how to say wreath. I always thought it was pronounced like you know, breath. So I would say breath, and I thought it was super uh, difficult to pronounce. So luckily, it is not pronounced that way. <laughs> so uh, I'm making a Halloween wreath, and for now, I'm working on the base, which is all pumpkins. I am planning to add like um, a witch's cauldron and a cat, and maybe some. Uh, purple clouds up here that kind of rise from the cauldron. I have ambitious plans. Um, but these pumpkin patterns are now on my Patreon page and you only need, so I'm, I um, assembled all of the green and orange from my stash and uh, these are all Metropolis mini skeins. So Scapius, uh, they had a color box color pack uh, for Scapies Metropolis and they had all of their 80 colors in there and I rarely use orange so uh, I was left with a lot of the orange colors and I use them for my pumpkins um, but you can use so these are made with uh, cotton so um, it's it's a great um, way to stash bust if you have lots of tiny little balls of yarn um you can you can use them for these so i have five patterns on my patreon page right now the first one is for this little pumpkin right here which is um a simple ripped pumpkin the second one do i remember the order yes the second one <laughs> is for this one that I still have to sew on. So this is kind of like a, uh, a butternut squash type. And you can make them any size, but um, yeah. So I've made this tiny one. And then the third one was this one here, which is a really simple stockinette one. And then you sew to create these wedges. And I use the same technique on these. Um... And then I did the color work one, which is this one. And I made a different one here. And I'm making a bigger one right now. So this is a corrugated rib. Uh, and then the last one uses cables. Or actually, they're not real cables. They're, they are faux cables. So uh, I call it the mock cable because it mimics the effect of a cable, but it is in fact not. So that is really fun to do. And yesterday I created a big one of that. So maybe I'll put that in front of the window or something. Uh, so yes, it is safe to say that I am obsessed with pumpkins right now. So these five patterns are on my Patreon page right now. Uh, but <laughs> honestly, I was going to say uh, like, these patterns are super easy. They are tubes and then cinched in at the top at the bottom and and you add a stalk and that's it. Don't join my Patreon page just for the pumpkins. That that would be silly. Uh, but do join my Patreon page if you want to learn how to knit color work. If you want to learn how to knit without looking at your work. If you want to uh, learn how to knit a sweater. I have a whole sweater knit along master class with you know we we start at the ribbing and you know the pattern is all included um i show you how to knit short rows the sweater is also knit in color work i'm i'm a big fan of color work so yeah don't join my patreon page just for these pumpkins because if you want these pumpkins i'm sure that there are loads of patterns out there for free and yes, that is not a very smart thing to say, but <laughs> I have loads more to offer than, the, than just this. So, but I am super obsessed with pumpkins right now. And I actually found that especially this one, the color work rib one, is an excellent first project to try color work. And you don't have to make it into a pumpkin. You can make it into a 
sock cuff or a sleeve cuff, whatever you want. So yes, let your creativity run wild. So I just wanted to share what I'm doing. Um, yes, I'm going to sew all of this up. So I'm going to make lots more parts and I will continue to share the progress on my Patreon page. And while I'm talking about it, I'm in the process of revamping my whole Patreon page because uh, right now the tier names are named after Harry Potter one types, which, you know, I was a big fan of, but not really anymore. Uh, and I wanted to revamp it into something more me. So that is coming really, really soon. And I hope you will all like it. And yeah, so that's it for this very short video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.